Okay, if you're one of those people who is now working from home, I've got some tips and tricks for you for your laptop and the position you're supposed to be in so you don't end up in positions like this and start getting back pain and neck pain and stop you doing this and to definitely stop you doing this if you're not at your work desk with a good normal riser and a monitor that can be adjusted and you don't have a portable sit to stand desk like this and you also don't have one of these to stand and lift your monitor up like this what I recommend is you use your kitchen table if you're sitting down. We'll come to standing up in a minute, but when you're sitting down, use your kitchen table. Now, the first thing that's got to happen is this laptop has got to go up because you've got to pretend that's your new monitor because you haven't got a plug-in monitor, so this has got to go up. The first thing you do, just get some books. You've got, probably got heaps of books around the house, shoe boxes, but remember, it's got to be sturdy, kids' games. This laptop you just need as many books as you can to get the top of the screen up at eye height so when i'm sitting here the top of the screen is at eye height okay and then that's really important if you have it too low you're starting going to start looking down too much and that's when the neck problems start so if that's really high that's great the other thing have it at arm length apart that's about as far as the focal length you should be but if you're going to have it up here you can't type up here so much cheaper than getting a plug-in monitor just get a keyboard okay plug that in now you don't have to have a wireless you can just simply plug them like that have your mouse okay and then you know that you've got this at the right height so if this is far back you can move this in the right position have your hands in the right position mouse there you go that is the best setup for when you're sitting but make sure that this chair is sturdy now if you don't have a lumbar roll like this that you can put in your lower back and sort of make that an ergonomic chair, then simply just get a pillow, it's the next best thing, and put that so it sort of pads out the back of the chair. Then it's gonna feel like one of those nice ergonomic chairs you have at work. Then you're sorted. So that's the best position for sitting. But you should spend some of the time sitting, you should also spend some of the time standing. Now you can also do standing stuff at home, and I'll show you how. So standing options are really, really easy. If you don't have that stand-up desk, then what you just need is your kitchen bench because the kitchen bench is usually a lot higher than your table, but you're going to have to raise it up still. So again, you could use lots and lots of books, okay? Stack all the books up. But if you've also got a kid's stool, that's even better. Just put the kid's stool on and get it up. Now, you'll notice that's still not high enough, okay? The, the laptop monitor still needs to be at eye height. So there's no point having it down and then looking down like that. So this is where I said, you're gonna need a few more books going on, shoe boxes, that sort of thing. And depending on your height, like that might be enough, depends how tall you are. If you're six foot like me, you're gonna have to probably get that up quite high to realize that that monitor has gotta go up at eye height and that's still not high enough, okay? So get it up. Work out where you need it, and there's your eye height, okay? Now, that's all well and good. Remember, that is your monitor. You don't type up here. Your plug and keyboard is the way to go, and so you're going to have to get all your other books and put them under your keyboard. So you've got your keyboard here, and again, that needs to be at a certain height. So when you're typing, you've got your arm basically at sort of 90 degrees of the elbow. It's not down too much like that. You don't want to be typing down. You want that up. So that needs to come up, and you also need a few more books for your mouse. Now, I know it's pretty full on, but you'll thank yourself if you've got a setup to stand at for a couple of hours, and you've got a setup to, stand, to sit down at for a couple of hours, then that's going to be the best scenario to stop you getting all your back problems and neck problems while you're working from home. See you next time.